Welcome back to Sora Assist. Adam here and the end of season sale has started and I'll be highlighting some top targets you should consider for your SO5 squads. If you like this video please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and if you've not signed up to Sora yet there is a link in the description below if you want to get signed up today to get yourself a free limited card and 30 income cards. Okay then, so the end of season sale is now here and today I'm going to pick in the top budget targets in terms of price and quality for SO5 scoring. Today I'm going to be picking players from the Dutch Eredivisie League and this is part 1. I'll be highlighting defenders, goalkeepers and some midfielders in part 1 of this video scouting series. If you want early access to these videos then join my Patreon or become a member of this YouTube channel by clicking that join button below. None of this content is financial advice and always do your own research. Right, let's get stuck in then, starting with the goalkeepers. First player I've gone for is Lars Understall of 20. He's got an L15 of 56 and an L40 of 54. At the moment his limited is going for around 188 and his rare card is going for around 1454. He's got some fantastic scores for a goalkeeper really. These averages, especially in the L40, is really showing his quality. If we look at his price then, now his price has pretty much gone on a pretty straight trajectory really, in general. Here there was a, an offer of 2,100, but prices here 1,700, 1,800, one bought in the auction here for 1,900, and a more recent purchase 1,420. So as you can see, that was a saving of around 500 pound, which is nothing to be sniffed at. And it does look a very solid goalkeeper with next season in mind. Another goalkeeper who looks good is Etienne Vassen of Wild Witch. 26, got a fantastic L40 of 52 and a fantastic L15 of 49. Something to bear in mind though with Vassen is that Wild Witch potentially could have a chance of getting relegated. So make sure you keep an eye on the situation there. So obviously this could potentially affect Vassen. His limited at the moment is going for around 87 and his rare is going for a very cheap looking 732. If we look back on the price graph then, so around here on auction someone bought him for 1468 on the 10th of February. Someone more recently bought him on the 17th of April for £568 which is an absolute bargain. And again here, someone picked him up on the 25th of April for 630. As I say, there is a slight chance that Wild Witch will get relegated. And if we look at the league table, as you can see, Wild Witch are currently 5th from bottom. 32 points, but there's not much in it really. And two, point, two games sorry, left to play. So make sure you keep your eye on that. If he does stay up, it might be one that you want to snap up if you're after a challenger goalkeeper. Looking a very budget price to me. Next up, we've got Yvonne Vogger of PSV. Only 27. Now, he has been injured here, as you can see. Oh, he wasn't getting in the team. And if we look at his scores, SL5 scores, we can see some really good, fantastic scores here. I think this period is when he was injured. That's why he wasn't playing. But as you can see, he's recently got back into the side again. His limited at the moment is going for around £95. And his rare is going for 582 this is looking very good to me. Now, if we look at his price graph six months ago, someone was snapping him up for £955. There was offers coming in as well for £900, £1,000, £830 back in February. And people actually snapped him up a bit earlier here at a cheaper price than he is currently, £434. And if we look at the price here though, he is still going at a fairly cheap price. Recent auction on the 1st of May, £669, someone snapped up the PSV goalkeeper for. Definitely cheaper than this guy who bought him on the 8th of Feb for 955. So once consider, once maybe research a little bit, make sure that he is going to be first choice for PSV next season as well. But if he is, he's looking at a really good price for a goalkeeper playing at a top club. On to defenders now, the first one I've gone for is Daily Blind. He has a contract with Ajax until the end of next season. And he's got some fantastic scores as well on the SO5 scoring matrix. With an L15 of 57, L40 of 63. His limited is going for around 179 at the minute, and his rare is going for around 1073. This is the cheapest by far for a defender with Ajax. In terms of his price, back here we were selling for an auction for around £2,236. There was one here back in January for £2,236. 
And now someone picked him up recently on auction for £993. Now if my math is correct, that's a 50% saving in Daily Blind. I think he's looking solid to keep his place in the side next season as well. Experienced Dutch player and I think this price is looking very cheap. It's in fact a 50% reduction. Another good player is Mazzaro of Ajax. Now it does look like Mazzaro is potentially going to be moving to Bayern Munich. But I don't think that's going to affect his scores too much. And I would expect that he's going to get similar scores that he did this season. An L15 of 55 and an L40 of 62. He's currently going for 187 on his limited. 992 for his rare card. Looking back here, his auction price was around 1500 there's another one sold here for 1589 in February. More recently, someone snapped him up for 992 So as you can see, that is a very big saving of around £500. So it could be one to pick up if you're after a champion Euro defender. That is, of course, if he does transfer to Bayern Munich. Another good defender is Oliver Buscagli of PSV. He, has, he is currently injured, but he is hopefully going to be back for next season. He's got an L15 of 66 and an L40 of 61. And this L40 score is looking really impressive and he, as he actually played 85% of those games. His limited at the moment is going for around 97 and his rare is going for around 678. In terms of his price, someone picked him up on auction back here in January for 1,534. There's also another one here for 1,460 in Feb. More recently, someone snapped up a real bargain and picked him up for 693 on auction on the 9th of May. Absolute bargain there for Roxy.Seadog. So that is looking a very good bargain for that guy. Uh, it looks like he saved around £900 from his price back here in February. So it does look a very good option. Another good option in defence is Marcos Senesi of Feyenoord. L15 of 53 and an L7, L40 sorry, of 57. Now his limited at the moment is going for around 105 and his rare card is going for around £814. That's the current floor price at the time of recording. In terms of his price, we can look at an auction here for £1,582. This was back in December. There's also an auction here for £1,293 in January. And one here as well for 1300 in February. More recently, someone's picked him up for £797, which is a huge saving on the price he's just highlighted. This was on the 7th of May. So it looks like a very solid option, and he's also going to reward you with some fantastic scores as well on the Surrey scoring matrix, as you can see from his score graph. Next up for Feyenoord again is Terrell Malasia. He is currently injured, but expected back on the 12th of May. His limited is going for around 128, and his rare is going for around 736. So it could be a potential defensive stack with um, Senesi as well, of course. Looking at his price back here then, it was going for around £2,644, and this was back in December. More recently though, it was going for 1718 and that was in January. And a more recent purchase, the last purchase on auction, was for 762 on the 1st of May. So absolute bag in there, really good saving on a quality player. Another good defensive option is Maximilian Witek of Vitesse. Only 26, he is currently injured, unknown tender at the moment. But he's got an L40 of 51 with 83% games played. He's going for a very cheap looking £15.88 on his limited and 137 for his rare card. In terms of his price on the graph, back in February he's going for 623 on his rare card. And more recently, someone snapped up a real bargain, £147, on the 8th of May. So this guy definitely knows a bargain when he sees one, and this certainly looks a huge reduction of around £600 for his rare price. Obviously check the state of his injury, but I would have thought it would be back. He's got a shoulder injury by the looks of things, hopefully by next season. But it looks a real good option. He's got some really good L40 numbers as well. Another good defender that looks good is also of Vitesse. And that's Danilo Diorki. And he's only 23 as well. And got under 23 eligibility until July 2022. He's limited at the moment. He's going for around 31. And his rare is going for around 269. Tells his price. If we look back here on auction. He went for 587. That was in January. And someone snapped up here for 365 as well. And more recently, the, most, the last sale on auction was for 269 which is a huge saving 
on this 800, 587 back here. So he's looking at a real snip at this price, especially if you're after a challenger Europe defender for next season. Another good defender is Milan Van Elk of Hernenveen. He's got a fantastic L15 of 49 and a brilliant L40 of 51. His limited is going for around £40 at the moment and his rare is going for around 348 So we're looking at his price graph then back here on the 6th of Jan. His rare was actually going for £559. More recent purchase that someone snapped him up for is £364 on the 8th of May. So that is a saving of around £200. Looking really cheap to me for a quality defender. Another good defender is Ahmed Tuba of Wildwitch. Now, as I said with Vasen, obviously Wildwitch are at risk of getting potentially relegated. But I think they've got a good chance of staying up, as we can see from the league table here. Two games left to play. It is pretty close to the bottom, but hopefully they will stay up. If he does, the Wildwitch goalkeeper and also defender here in Ahmed Tuba is looking a potential bargain. He's only 24 still and he has L15 of 48 and L40 of 51, which is even more impressive considering Wildwitch struggles this season. His limited at the moment is going for £16 and his rare is going for a very cheap looking 141. If we look back on the auctions back here in December, someone snapped him up for £344. Back here, £250 in February. More recently, someone's picked him up for a very budget price of £140. Looking really good bargain to me. On to midfielders now, and the first one I've gone for is Abraham Sangari of PSV. An L15 of 58 and a fantastic L40 of 62. He's currently going for 180 and limited, and his rare is going for around 1,299. But if we look at his price back here in November, he was actually selling for around 3,095. So as you can see, that is a huge saving on 1,299. Back here, he also sold for 2387 in January. Again, a saving of £1,000. And someone more recently snapped him up for £1,300 on auction just on the 5th of May. So, again, he's looking like another one that's an absolute steal to me for a quality player. Another quality player is Adam Meyer of Utrecht 28. He's limited at the moment, he's going for 41 and his rare is going for around 438 He's got L15 of 57, an L40 of 58, and an L5 of 60. Looking at his price then, uh, back here in December, it was going for around £1,280. As you can see, that's a huge difference to his current average. Back here, he was selling for £978 on January. More recently, someone snapped him up an auction for £435 on the 2nd of May. As you can see, he's... Potentially going to be a good player for next season at a very good price. Another good player is Mario Goetze of PSV. 29, L15 of 30, L40 of 56. The World Cup winner is looking very cheap to me and his limited price at the moment is £74 and his rare price is 637 Now looking at his price graph back here in December, it was going for 1412 Here it was going for £1,072. More recently, someone's picked him up for £647. So as you can see, that is a huge saving on his previous price. So the final midfielder and final player for part one of this video this week is Sondre Tronstad of Vitesse. An L15 of 57 and an L40 of 56 looks very impressive to me. He's also got an L5 of 62. His limited is going for a very cheap looking 28 and his rare is going for around 265 Back here in January, his rare was selling for 555 More recently, someone snapped up a real bargain for £290. That's near to a 50% reduction in his price. Quality player with some quality scores. Looks a really very viable option to me. So that was all the selections for this week's end of season sale video. This is part one of the Eredivisie players. Part two, which is coming over the next few days i'll be highlighting the rest of the midfielders and also some forwards as well for your consideration for your so5 squads if you did like this video please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel you can also become a member of this youtube channel now by clicking that join button below and you'll also get early access to these scouting videos by doing that you'll also get early access to the scouting videos on the patreon as well services patreon 
You'll also get weekly player scouting on there. Also check out our website, surreyassist.com, for free Surrey resources and grab yourself a 300-page Ultimate Guard Surrey ebook. And if you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 coming cards. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.